and good evening, everyone. We are at 1-5 Lakeside here in the village at Lake Las Vegas. Tis the season, gentlemen. Tis the season. Andy Absolutely. Gill, Dan Smithman from Smithman Productions is with us, and it is time for the annual Christmas tree light. Did it just happen? I feel as though we were just sitting here a week ago. Yeah. It just happened. It, it, it was like 70 degrees three, four days ago. Right. right. And now here we are. So the temps are perfect. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And apparently. And the hot chocolate yes, is warm. Well, you know, shout out to, of course, Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Okay. Of course, Sue over there. Uh, they're doing a special tonight as well for uh, some free hot chocolate. Free hot chocolate. Yeah. And the guys are jealous because I'm the only one that got one so right. far. Thanks, so man. they are coming for them. Thanks for hooking us up. Um, Dan, some changes this year. Uh, about the uh, Christmas tree. I could not find the Christmas tree. <laughs> I couldn't find it tonight. Couldn't when I find the up. Christmas no. tree. Well, well he, it's I, not lit yet. That's okay. why you can't yeah, find it. Yeah. Well, that's number one. <laughs> yeah. We've got to help him out sometimes. It's okay. Right. Oh, because we moved the tree. Yes. I get where you're you going. You moved with the tree. Yes. 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 So, so <laughs> you know, because we weren't busy enough and we didn't have enough going on, we thought let's take the tree, put it on a barge, and float the tree in the water. So that's what we've done this year, uh, and we've added twenty-two thousand LED lights. Uh, we're going to light up the sky and uh, keep our fingers crossed that uh, that it lights up. Yeah, so coming up, of course, 6 o'clock is when we light it up. And, of course, Annie Meadows is going to be performing as well. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, Dan, you know, the idea popped up, and we definitely moved on with it. We've got all the powers to be and all the – shout out to the marina staff. Okay, mm -hmm. the marina. Um, they were amazing. Employees, you know, you look at the barges and you look at the, the stages and you look at all that and you may think it's – yeah, a little bit easy, but sometimes, you know, it does take a lot of work to get those and, and safe, number one. And so we did it. And, you know, I mean, so far it looks fantastic, Dan, so thank you. And then once we get the lights up, you know, it might be a, 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 what we planned is, is going to come well, out. Well, I hope so, because every year it's going to be bigger and better. <laughs> there we go. Now, before I forget, I got scarves for you guys. Ah, so you can, ah, so you can ah, as amazing as I do. Us. Ah. With, with your Lake Las Vegas Look how much you lit his face up. Look how much he right? just like. See, it doesn't take so much. No, you guys are usually mic. wearing something kind of, you know, colorful or goofy. Yeah. So this is perfect. I didn't I'm know he was wearing his coat tonight. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So there we go. And you're going to have some new merch, though, at Seasons. We are going to have new merchandise okay. at Seasons Grocery. Um, we're running a little late because it just happened. Because Santa did, is... I was caught off yeah, guard. Yeah, Santa, Santa's running a little late. Santa's running late. I like this guy. Let's blame it on Santa. <laughs> right. We'll blame so everything on Santa. In a week or so, we'll have some uh, some new merchandise for the for the cold weather. But Dan, thank you for everything that you and Josh do. Um, of course, you and Josh work hard. You guys are also residents. Congratulations on the new spot. We'll get some more information on that later down the line. Yes, um, yes thank you. And, Before um, we let you go, though, the Santa Cruz coming up December 21st and 22nd. Yes, we've got four Santa Cruises. There's tickets just went on sale. The best way to spend an afternoon with your child and your family. You get pictures with Santa. It's okay. all included. We've got prizes, games. It's it's a wonderful uh, and, and an amazing cruise. Absolutely. Las Vegas. Yes, yeah. and uh, not only that though, the New Year's Eve is also you. New Year's Eve. We've now we've really stepped up New Year's Eve. We've we've made it. We went from an hour and a half to three and a half hours long. It's going to start at Reflection Bay this year. And we've got dual performances. For, uh, for, we have music. We have uh, fireworks show. Yep. Everything. Just I didn't see. I, and, I don't. Oh, and celebrity chef Scott Cummings, which really bumps it up to have uh, for sure his delicious food there. I didn't see where you guys put the said Christmas tree. Is it on the La Contessa? Will it be on there? <laughs> You're going to lose some space. On the Christmas tree? Yeah. No. Put the tree on no, the, no, no, no. On no, the lock no. contestant. We already we thought about that, but that was like pushed out of the, um, the idea box very Usually quickly. I'm reeling him in. Yeah. I'll throw an idea yeah. out there and Andrew's like, oh, we can. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you thought of it, though. Hmm. That's good, man. Very good. <laughs> on the yacht. That's interesting because then it really can move around. No, exactly. I'm just kidding. Well, next year. Well, hopefully you guys come out and see the yeah. tree and, and are going to be able to take great pictures and a lot of fun. And again, Dan uh, Smithman. And of course, shout out to Josh for always being there to help. You guys are uh, awesome. Color this place up. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. And yeah. fingers crossed, we plug that thing in, it lights up. We got it. Fingers crossed. How many we'll lights? How many lights on there? 22,000 lights we added 22, this year. 22,000 lights. Right, right. So, it'll be right. fun. Season of giving, you guys. Um, we have something really cool. Actually, something Dan was involved with as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, teamed up with Susan G. Komen of Nevada in October for Pinktober, and we did a couple of fun events. And this one right here is our Pink Dance-a-thon that we did over at the Lake Las Vegas Sports Club. So take a peek at this fun video, and when we come back, we'll be talking to Sherry Alexis, Director of Development with Susan G. Komen of Nevada. Dan, thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,
I did not recognize our guest. She was not wearing pink. I, You're not I, wearing I, I pink. I didn't say good to see you again. Yes, good like, to see oh, you I'm again. But at first him. I was like, <laughs> she's not wearing well, pink. See, I don't know if you guys saw Sherry Alexis you know, yes. is with us. Yeah, thank you, okay. Sherry. Okay, <laughs> that's um, right. Hey, the director seen? of development from Susan G. Komen of Nevada. You saw the video. Yeah. I, I think you pretty much won <laughs> the contest <laughs> competition there and came out pinkified, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I should have worn my pink hair. I didn't think about it. It's, it goes with me everywhere I go. <laughs> and now, <laughs> now that's not a costume that you just hold in your closet every time you do events, or was that one special just for no, us? No, that was, is the first time I've ever pulled it out. It was okay. for you guys. Okay, just making sure. Very just cool. making sure. Um, you know, it's a really a recap to October, and, and, and Pinktober is what we did with you guys. And, um, you know, on behalf of Lake Las Vegas, we do want to thank you for, for teaming up with us. And we did, a, um, of course, a, a month long um, promotion and every weekend of course what you're watching right now was the kickoff party along with uh, the special members party that we put on at the Lake Las Vegas Sports Club. So the residents members came out and had a good time and we introduced uh, hey, Andy Komen uh, to the fun and it was a good time. And beautiful. Yes. You guys did an amazing amazing job. Yeah, everyone wants you know thank you to of course you know Smithman Productions and uh, you know you guys for just being a part of it, you know. Can you talk about Susan G. Komen real quick for me and tell yeah. me, you know, uh, what's going on, uh, you know, and, you know, number one, raising that awareness for uh, Nevada. Exactly. And that's just it, is it is Nevada. So Susan G. Komen is a national organization. We have affiliates all over the United States. But what we do here in Nevada affects our community directly. So 25% of what we do does go back nationally for national research and um, amazing, amazing strides have been made. Uh, th uh, the mortality rate has decreased significantly for breast cancer. Our goal, we have a bold goal to um, decrease it by 50% mm. by 2026. But here in the state, one of the things that we like to promote is early detection. Yeah. And early detection is one of the best ways to eliminate breast cancer so that's what we do here we fund a lot of different grantees here in the state all over the state we cover the entire state not just Las Vegas um, and you know I was actually there's an interesting story about Tonopah recently on NPR because they closed the only hospital in Tonopah oh wow um, a while yeah. ago and and it's a rural part of the state where those people don't have access to health care but we actually fund a grantee that has a mobile mama van that does travel up there okay so it's things like that that give us great hope well with that said we would like to um, um you know thank you again with a uh, check of the amount twenty five hundred dollars as oh well my gosh. okay so that is what um you know over that month we don't have an oversized to... check but we'll no no i have a check it's the actually order. right there but um <laughs> it's, it's actually <laughs> this is it. let's take a photo the... oh, no, there it is. no better yet I, I, I like the big checks you know i'm yeah. actually gonna run over there and get it <laughs> he is okay no I'll just... but <laughs> yeah 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 bring it over why not yes you want it of course like so in other here. news, folks, <laughs> yeah. you never know what's going to happen on the show. You know, yeah. and it's funny. I know we do the big checks, but I was like, you know, it's one of those things where we actually where get it's actually real money and you actually get to see the check. We did this with uh, the canine people as well. But boom, oh, right there. there. Okay, yeah. twenty five hundred oh. bucks. We're making sure you guys get that. Um, but, you know, the amount of awareness, I think the Pinktober was. Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, great. Uh, I mean, it was everywhere. Well, yeah. You yeah. know what? You know what the coolest thing was just how engaged everyone at Lake Las Vegas was. I agree. Right? Like, even it's hard to get everyone. It, it's hard to get everyone on the same page. Andy, kudos, and to you and to everyone here at Lake well, Las Vegas. But it was just to remind you, one more thing coming up, and that's the walk in yeah. May. So okay. I plan. I think you guys need a team. Okay. We need yeah. a Lake Las Vegas team. She's at saying the walk, that, that sure. we we not think we, we have to be. I think that's we what have I to be. Yeah. I think yeah, I'm we're ordered. It down. We're ordered to be you. there. She <laughs> said yeah. She said she wanted to talk to me after, so I'm wondering. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna shake you that down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. They'll come back wearing pink for the rest of the but show. But honestly, guys, thank you. No, yeah. thank awesome. you. Yeah, I know we're partnering with us. We're looking forward to doing next year. It's going to be bigger yeah. and better. I'm so yeah. excited. All right, Sherry, thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with us, okay? Uh, you know. Appreciate it. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, getting hot chocolate. Yeah. I'm in. You know, uh, let's talk some real estate. And
and one of the biggest pieces of news in uh, all over the country is you know Del Webb joining Lake Las Vegas, and you know they've had some amazing information sessions that have happened here, and it's the the interest of moving here to Lake Las Vegas and being in a Del Webb home. It's kind of a big deal. It's kind a major of a big deal. deal. Will. Yeah. And uh, what's even better is you're going to get to hear more from the VP of Sales, Danny Welsh, is going to be joining us. But right now, just watch this video and get yourself a little bit of a tease of what the new Del Webb community here at Lake Las Vegas looks like. Sherry, thank you. Thanks. All right, you guys, uh, the, I, I mean, I know you guys want to see that video some more. We're definitely going to have, you can see it now at delweb.com slash Lake Las Vegas. But right now I'm joining us, uh, Danny Welsh, VP of sales. No pressure uh, on that job here. <laughs> no, no pressure uh, at all here. <laughs> um, but <laughs> the pressure is kind of, you know, I mean, talk to me about the interest and the, and the excitement. Have you seen something like this in a while here in Nevada? You know, we haven't. And, and that's what we're so excited about. Uh, first of all, this place is amazing. Uh, it's like a winter wonderland down here. We came down, I brought my family down in the summer and we okay. the water obstacle The course. aqua park, yep. Um, <laughs> still sore <laughs> to this day. <laughs> but um, what Lake Las Vegas offers is just, it's, it's fantastic. So we haven't seen this type of excitement for um, a Del Webb product in a long time because we haven't brought anything on to let in. It's in been a Vegas while. For about a little over a decade now. Yep. So um, yeah, we're getting a lot of interest. A lot of people are coming in and you know marrying the lifestyle that the year long year round lifestyle that Lake Las Vegas offers with the active adult it's just been a home run for us. Yeah, it's, you know, Lake Las Vegas, amazing history, and the history isn't stopped. It's going to continue uh, along with you guys. And it's, uh, you know, over 400 homes, uh, oh, yeah. uh, nine models. Yep. Um, you know, it, it, any any suggestions that you might have, Danny, on, on you know, getting the opportunity to actually get a Del Webb home here in Lake Las yes, Vegas? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Um, I think that the best thing we can do right now is visit the website, uh, delwebb.com slash Lake Las Vegas. Um, we're having these info sessions as you mentioned we've had eight already tremendous outpouring of support and excitement about it we have another one coming on december 6th uh, that we're going to do over here at the weston hotel um, and the people that we're getting they're excited they're asking questions and the best way to go about uh, making the next step in that purchase is attending one of these info sessions it's going to be all the relevant information that you need to know that you want to know pricing uh, anything else square footage and there's just going to be a ton of help while you're there to help you get to the next step. And that's the thing too, is I've had people ask me, you know, oh, uh, you know, I don't have a chance to get, you know, it, and it's, it's not true. I wanna make sure that people come and yeah. get that information and get to see yeah. all the options and the ideas that you guys have, because, you know, you know, sometimes excitement scares people, but it's not like I don't want, you know, to see, because I've heard people, some don't, the options don't work out and they do and you fall in and you get it and you never know and you're next thing you know you're living in a Del Webb home in Lake Las Vegas. Yeah, and I think the most important thing is is there's a there's a lot of opportunity for everybody. Yep. Um, as you said, we're going to do over 400 homes. We hope to do more than that. Yeah. Um, right now, but once you get in, the amenities that we're going to share with Lake Las Vegas and the lifestyle that it already has there, coupled with, you know, our, our community center that we're going to have, our walking trails, our, um, um, you know, uh, resort style pools, spas, those types of things, outdoor event lawns. Yeah. Be great. And uh, all the way coming out to Lake Las Vegas, all you see are those billboards, yeah. which are very attractive and yeah. they catch your attention. Uh, that community center, Andy is just raving about it. It's not even built yet, but he keeps saying it's no. going to be. No, yeah. Level, I yeah. mean, it's, it's, it's every time you say, you know, Del Webb, you get excited. You tell them how many homes, they say, oh, wow. And then you're like, they're going to have their own sports club. And then you're like, what? 
Yeah. You know, and look, our sports club is amazing and fantastic alone, and people are going to be able to use that for the year until it's open. Absolutely. But it's it's just funny to see, you know, that yeah. excitement just keeps on growing I mean, and growing and growing. Del Webb and Active Adult has become kind of a synonymous, that we're one of the same for the last 60 years that we've been doing this. Um, but marrying that with, again, with Lake Las Vegas and the excitement that we're seeing is, I mean, with, with the water sports, with, I mean, here we are in the middle, dead of winter, uh, bundled up right next to the lake. And you would think that um, yeah. you never could go in that water, but you can. Oh, um, absolutely, so you it's, can. It's just, it's just it's a great place, and we're really excited about and, this. And you know the activities, and, and and working with the village, and working with every single stakeholder and opportunist yeah. in here in Lake Las Vegas. You see, you know Josh danced with me. He's a resident. You know uh, the hotels are on, on board, yeah. and it's going to be. A lot of fun to have you, and welcome to the family. Absolutely, thanks well, for having me. Welcome to the Lake Las been, Vegas this family. This has been Del fantastic. Yeah, I'm, so. I'm, my next is um, I need a scarf, a jacket, and okay. a hat. Okay. Yeah, and we'll then get I'll you feel like part of the club. Yeah, I will like, make it happen. And uh, once again, it's December the sixth. <laughs> yes. LakeLasVegas.com. It's on our website it's, here yes, as well, as well yes. and on social media. And you could just RSVP the information. Yeah, look for that out. that billboard, that branding right there That's has gone the big. It's, that it's working. That's my attention. I, like, <laughs> I got it. Is that the ocean? Is that it's, you, Tony? Yeah, it's, That's it's a great picture. <laughs> I, do you I have, just shaved do you have that hat? Yeah, yeah, that hat. Yeah, and then turn around, it's yeah, November. With see, this big your beard. arms look great, by the way. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, Danny, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, guys. Really All right, you guys. Happy holidays. Yeah, um, yeah coming up, you guys. <laughs> we have, um, please watch this video. Okay, the um, Lake Las Vegas Live Dasco Sweater Drive is happening. Day one is today. It goes all the way to New Year's Eve. Uh, here is the video from last year. And when we come back from you watching this video, we'll be sitting with Heather Williams, of course, Director of Development for the Las Vegas Rescue Mission. Danny, thank you. Today we're Everybody. distributing over a thousand articles of clothing uh, that we picked up through the Dasco Sweater Drive. Started very small, organically, at Lake Las Vegas. And a year ago, we just had a couple of distribution points to maybe like 10 or 15 this year. And our good friend, Mo from Green Cleaners, uh, man, through his generosity. Specifically, we did Saturday, we came in to work everybody. So that way, we'll accommodate their labor, everybody put their labor to serve the communities. Throughout the community, no one said no. We said, can we put a barrel in your business from Sin City CrossFit to California All-Stars to all of Lake Las Vegas, of course, Andy Gill and his team there, uh, and just uh, greens and proteins, wherever we asked. Uh, born and raised in Las Vegas. Anyone that we asked, they just said, yes, give us a barrel to give back to the community. community, community, community. Oh, we, we do, 2,000 sweaters. We collected 1,000 sweaters last year and joining us once again, and it does seem like it was just yesterday, <laughs> Heather Williams, the Director of Development from the Las Vegas Rescue Mission. And that was a lot of fun. You know, just watching that video, I know it was a lot of work for everyone involved. And again, yeah. Andy spearheaded everything. Uh, just watching that video, that's really cool. That was, that makes you feel really good. You, yeah, you, sure. Thank you, you guys, you know, for teaming up and being able to allow us, Lake Las Vegas, to be a part of something um, that really means a lot and helps out thousands. Yeah. Um, you know, during the winter, which does hit hard. In Lake Las Vegas. We're already Las feeling Vegas, it sorry. today. <laughs> yes, it's it's definitely the start. We got teased a couple weeks ago with mm -hmm. some warm weather, but now it's back. Um, talk to me about the, the rescue mission number one, and then, and then how important mm -hmm. that just the warm clothes is important. Yeah. So uh, the rescue mission, where um, next year we'll be entering into our 50th year of wow. being in operation. Um, we feed and clothe the homeless. Uh, we serve a community meal 365 days of the year. This coming um, Wednesday, we're going to be serving our Thanksgiving meal. Um, we're looking to feed about 1,300 people that night. Um, and then at Christmas Eve, we have another large meal we're looking to serve about the same number then as well we're hoping um, uh, to get a lot of people come in so we can give them that nice hot that hot meal and the spirit of the holidays um, but otherwise we serve a community meal every single day of the year okay um, uh, we also have overnight shelter for men women children single dads and um, we have a recovery program six to twelve months recovery program for men and women with drug alcohol and gambling addictions 
So we're serving a lot of people all year round. Um, we take private donations only and uh, donations of clothing are super important to us. Um, the What we got last year, everything coming in dry cleaned. I think everyone was like, this is Christmas in January receiving yeah. like it's brand new clothing almost. So, and even just, I've been here a little while. I've already taken on a couple of coats, a couple of bags of sweaters. So awesome. it's pretty exciting Very for us. Cool. You know, yeah. you did say dry cleaning and then, then uh, next show, we're going to have definitely Mo's on board again. Mm -hmm. He's back um, on board from yeah, Green, yeah. Green so, Cleaner. So Mo is going to be, you know, a, a big part of the day. And then again, like you said, dry cleaning, it, he packaged it even. Yes. Uh, I think we learned that we probably won't package it. It's still going to be dry clean <laughs> just because you have to open and see sizes and, uh, you know, d doing it the first time you learn everything for the next one. Yep. But with that said, Tony, buddy, this is you. You, you really started this, um, this, this sweater drive and this idea. How did that come about? Okay, so I told you this in the past, right? So when I was working at UNLV, I would always wear UNLV sweaters. An assistant basketball coach from Brooklyn called me Tony Sweaters. No R at the end. And from there, we did like one little uh, event with a coaches show, a basketball coaches show, and we collected maybe a hundred sweaters, donated them. And then over the years, we just had small events at the foundation room. That's still like one of our anchors. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, you know, once a year. And then last year, Andy and I got to talking and it's like, you know, let's take this to the next level. And this was like about, not the, le the next level, it was about 30 levels higher than anything, you know, that we've been a part of. But again, on the radio, we're yeah. able to promote it now. And I just, I mean, the MVP of this entire thing is Mo from Green Cleaners. Yeah. I mean, he's okay. dry cleaning everything so that the homeless folks here in, in Southern Nevada have something clean, it's pressed. He said, we're not gonna give them anything dirty. And uh, just the looks on the faces of the, the people at the shelter right. when we were handing it out was one of the most rewarding things, I think, for all of us. Right? I, it was. It yeah, was definitely it was rewarding. Uh, rewarding. And just to see the operation alone. I mean, when they go in there and they were yeah. actually having dinner yeah. and seeing the line and seeing everybody go in and how you coordinate everything and make sure that everybody gets help. Yeah. Um, it's really, it's really, it's really, a, like you said, it's, it's heartwarming. It's a thing to see and it makes you want to do more, you yeah. know? And like I said, I know it's a, I don't know if it's a hefty goal or not, but I think 2000 sweaters is something that Let's we can easily do. That's yeah. amazing. And with that oh, said, you're be I think busy. you guys will do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, with the, the drop off locations, of course, of Lake Las Vegas opening up from the, you know, the Hilton, the West End, the village restaurants, uh, the golf courses, uh, but then also our community partners, which is kind of nice because Yes, the kind of the operation, the idea started within Lake Las Vegas, but now it's growing outside of Lake Las Vegas uh -huh. and and hitting the community partners. For example, Marshall Injury Law. We've got uh, Greens and Proteins is back. Okay. We've got Farmers Insurance this year. Yeah. Like people are just there's an outpouring. You know, Sin City CrossFit, and, it, yeah. and there'll be bins there, and they'll be a part of something that yeah. brings everything around. And it's not about Aradia who started Keto, or where it's at. One. We all talk about that. And yeah. Want right. To give that love. That's so cool. But you're, you it's know, really cool. And and like, to both of you. You know what? Like we could give out a thousand of those barrels. I don't want to overwhelm right. you. Yeah. But like, every one that we have. <laughs> we might need to, <laughs> we we have, need to yeah, no, acquire every, a few more for yeah, that. Yeah. But every every one that we ask, no one says no. Yeah. But and now they're starting to come to us. Even if we can't get the barrels done, you know, there's the the boxes. The decorated boxes or what something you know uh, we want to make that a, a part of y y y we've gotten reached out quite a bit mm -hmm. so i know he just mentioned that so yeah. we'll figure out a way to get everybody <laughs> a box or a, a barrel but we'll, we'll um work on it. coming up on december 20th 21st uh, is our snowflake festival Okay. And what, um, you know, what we did last year was uh, you're a big part of it because, you know, yeah. it was uh, all throughout, as you guys there can you watch go. on the TV and, of course, Andy Meadows. Um, but uh, we'll be doing a on the 20th is our is is National Ugly Sweater Day. And so we will do our second it. annual Ugly Sweater it. Contest. There were some really good sweaters yeah. last year. Yeah, <laughs> and so we'll be able to, you know, that was the video from last year, of course. But um, yeah. so we'll you do get to design your own sweater, right? You design your own sweater yeah. the contest you're allowed you know you're going to win some prizes um but that's an also another opportunity for you just to bring down some other items of warm <laughs> clothes and then of course on the 21st we will have our rudolph neon lights parade as well so where we let residents anybody that wants to bring a golf cart they can get it down here <laughs> right. or, that was a blast yeah. or you know such a blast. light up you know light up and join the parade and really just raise some more awareness for people to bring some more sweaters right. okay and Beautiful. um Again, that, you know, we'll, I'm sure people will see you here for that. And then yeah, we'll, New sure. Year's we'll Eve will be, be another fun party. And then uh, definitely, you know, do another fun drop-off. Yeah. 
So um, any um, any other way to get some more information on the rescue mission? Um, you can visit our website. It's um, www.vegasrescue.org. Um, we have opportunities to um, see other drives that we're running right now. If you want to, um, even if you have a school or or anyone to, um, that wants to do food drives for us as well, as warm clothing. Um, and uh, we have volunteer opportunities. We're looking 365 days of the year to have volunteers come down and help serve our meals as well. So uh, go to our website, vegasrescue.org. Heather, thank you. Thank All you right. so much. Thank I you. appreciate it, guys. guys um, appreciate always, it. Really you. quick, uh, do you want to run down our guest? Thank you so much for joining yeah. us, of course, Dan Smithman. Of course, Dan Smithman was our guest from Smithman Productions. I think they're going to start the countdown here shortly, uh, and there's the tree. They moved it. They yeah. moved the tree. And then just so there you guys is. know, when the tonight's performance by Annie Meadows, you see the performance stage behind it. That will be moved and away. You won't be able to see it anywhere. And the Christmas tree on that floating stage will be moved out a little bit further into the water oh. and giving you guys a really, really, really cool. Will be. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So I thought Dan was just no nope. messing with us. Nope. Okay. From Susan G. Coleman of Nevada, the director of development, Sherry Alexis. We'd like to thank her. Danny Wells joined us from Del Webb, the director of sales. And of course, um, our guest, uh, Heather Williams, director of development from the Las Vegas Rescue Mission. All right, you guys, um, we're going to close up our part right now and uh, let you guys check out the Christmas tree countdown and turn it on. Thank you, guys.
prophecy. All right, I'm making my way back. So we're going to light the tree in just a few minutes. We're going to have a couple of songs, and then we're going to light this beautiful tree. But what I want to say is this. Many of you out there know me. There's probably people out there that don't know me from Adam. <laughs> but I just want to kind of say that this has been a little bit of a difficult time for me. Ten months ago, my husband died in my arms in our bed. And uh, he died of a rare leukemia. It was uh, diagnosed very quickly and very suddenly. But my message to you is this. First of all, live life, my friends. Absolutely love those that are around you. And anybody for her. But you know, my main message is this. The other day on the news, they talked about the October 1, which you all, we all know Vegas Strong very well. Well, now there's 59 souls because one of the victims passed away a few days ago. And I thought to myself, Christmas is all about the most wonderful time of the year, and, and I love Jesus Christ, and I know that this is what we is the true meaning of the season. I do anyway. But I want to say that there are those of you out there tonight even, where you're struggling. You maybe have a financial crisis going on. Perhaps you're ill yourself. Or perhaps you've just lost somebody very close to you. Or maybe a few years back you did, and Christmas is a hard time for you. I just want you to know this, that is the common bond that's thread between all of us. And you have not been forgotten, my friends, even though it might not be the most happiest time for you. We can know that within our grief, we can find peace. And within our grief, we actually can find joy if we keep our eyes going ahead, if we stay strong, if we love each other, and if we spread that joy between each other tonight. This is for me, my friends, all of you gathered here tonight, this is so beautiful to me to see the community here. <laughs>
We're actually going to start playing Christmas music on SOS Radio coming up this Thursday. Obviously, after we put away all the pumpkin pie, we'll be starting all the festive music. Silent Night, Long Night.